Layton's promise of the day. Jack Layton as tax fighter. Who'd have thought? The new Democrat leader is proposing to help small businesses with a 2% drop in taxes. Of course, there's a corresponding increase in other taxes. Joining me to discuss the merits of the tax plan is Catherine Swift of the Federation of Independent Business and Derek Fildebrand of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Catherine Swift, do you like the corporate income tax cuts that the Prime Minister has proposed. Does Jack Layton's plan resonate at all with you? Well, we're actually really happy to see all of the parties pay probably more attention to small business concerns than they ever have in a federal election before. I think that's positive. Naturally, I'm biased, but I also think it's justified <laughs> given that we're talking about half the economy here, not exactly a fringe group. But I guess we could, you, you could say our reaction is mixed. We do believe that the small business rate that levied on uh, revenues less than $500,000 uh, could be lowered. Uh, but we also are supportive of the continuation of the larger if you will, corporate income tax reductions. So kind of a mixed reaction on that. We do, we do support lowering the small business rate, but not at the expense of foregoing already announced decreases in the corporate income tax rate. I might if I push you on that a little bit more, because the Prime Minister raises your name quite regularly when he talks <laughs> about support in the business community community for his income tax cuts for large corporations. Yet I always sort of equate you to sort of mid-sized to smaller ones. Why do you think it's good that a tax break that will go to mostly larger corporations is a good thing for your constituency? Well, we've actually polled our members on it numerous times, and they do indeed support it, so it's not just me. Uh, but <laughs> a, an awful lot of medium-sized firms are caught up in that, um, you know, 500000 isn't a huge amount of money, and the large corporate rate starts to click in after that threshold. So it does capture actually a lot of medium-sized businesses in the crossfire. Um, I also, however, do believe that corporate income taxes internationally are one of the, only one, but one important consideration when we look at attracting foreign investment. And all countries are vying to attract foreign investment. So I do believe having a competitive rate benefits everyone ultimately. And a lot of people have tried to focus on how many jobs are created and, you know, let's get it down to how many angels are dancing on the head of a pin. But I also <laughs> think it means jobs aren't lost. We also don't lose companies to other jurisdictions and that's been more what, what's been happening losing them to the Chinas the Indias or whatever than actually uh, uh, on the on the plus side so I think you have to look at both sides of that equation okay Derek Fildebrand uh, what's bad about this anything or is it good well Jack Layton the, the tax fighter well I'll be a socialist <laughs> you know uh, this is uh, one step forward one step back uh, this is an excellent proposal to, uh, to cut uh, taxes on small businesses that does create jobs Mr. Layton's right about that but uh, he's dead wrong when he thinks there'll be no consequence to, to job losses and, uh, and job creation by uh, raising uh, business taxes on, on larger businesses. So it's, uh, you know, as Catherine rightly pointed out, it's, uh, it's a step forward, but it's also a step back. Uh, it's, but it is positive, though, that uh, we are focusing the discussion this campaign. It's coming around now to the issues of job creation uh, and how to do that through cutting taxes. So this is possibly the first time we've seen the NDP admit that low taxes actually creates jobs. They have not seemed to come around to think that that applies to all kinds of businesses and all sizes of businesses, but it is finally an admission that cutting taxes creates jobs, and we're happy to see the yeah. NDP leader come on side with that. The far left and the far right <laughs> singing the same tune about tax cuts. Catherine Swift, did you ever think you'd see that day? Well, I think the NDP has actually been meeting with us more lately, uh, to give them credit, than they probably ever have before federally. And I think it's pretty hard to argue with, really. <laughs> you know, you reduce the cost of something, you're going to encourage more of it. I mean, it's basically kind of a, one of those very simple laws of supply and demand. So, but again, I noticed, too, in the announcement that the, uh, the leader, Jack Layton, said that he would keep the large corporate rate uh, less than the U.S. rate. The U.S. has, the, I think, the highest rate in the G8 right now and one of the highest rates in all of the OECD countries. So I'm not sure we want to use that as our comparator. You know, the, the combined rate of 15% federally and 10% provincially, which yesterday's Ontario budget is said it's aiming toward, despite the fact they're liberals, uh, that 25% uh, combined corporate tax rate is actually about the average in the OECD right now. So I don't think we should be deluding ourselves that we're really bargain basement in terms of corporate taxes. We're not. Um, Derek, what do you think of that? 
Yeah, no, uh, Catherine's got it right on there. But, you know, the issue the liberals are trying to point corporate taxes towards is saying we need more money so we can spend on more on things. social programs. And at the same time, they're also saying they're going to spend that money on the deficit. So we're seeing some very conflicting messages from the liberals saying conservatives have created a deficit from, uh, from cutting business taxes, uh, and we're also going to spend it on new social programs. Uh, but at the same time, no party right now is actually talking about why we're actually in deficit, and that's from overspending. And you know, so we need to see lower business taxes for large and small businesses, but at the same time, we need to cut corporate welfare. We need to stop handing businesses subsidies. We need to stop giving them loans that aren't going to be repaid. We need to stop giving them uh, you know, grants and bailouts. You know, Mr. Layton speaking from Oshawa when he made this announcement, uh, and he seems to be against big business, yet at the same time, he seems perfectly all right with sending billions of taxpayer dollars to bail out GM. I knew you were going to get around to that sooner or later. I can't later. get off of that. Derek Fildenbrand of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, Catherine Swift of the Federation of Independent Business, thank you both for joining us.